was a kid, I was absolutely fascinated with John Dillinger. He was just a damn good bank robber. What was fascinating to me about John Dillinger is that he explodes out of nine years in prison and is going to have everything and get it right now. He also ran a crew that didn't make mistakes. Their methodology was like a paramilitary raid. There was a man who was a driver. There's a guy who was outside the bank. There's a lobby man. There's a fourth guy who raided the tellers. And there was another guy who was going to take the manager to the vault and get the money. Red was the driver. He had to be the anchor, the rock solid dude. That was Dillinger's best friend and Dillinger's right hand. It's Homer who really surveys the front of the building, protects that opening, that door. He was a bit of a loose cannon, Homer, but a good man to have on your side. Harry Pierpont was uh, a real force to be reckoned with. Ooh. Charles Mackley was like the pit bull. And Mackley would go and empty all the teller's drawers. Push it to me! And then it was the vault man, and that was still in tree. Shut up! Just one of these. Come on, up and down. You can be a dead hero or a live coward. There's a lot of detail about the robbing of a bank. I didn't know this until I got into it and talked to people who had done a lot of high-level armed robberies. I've done everything, you know, pretty much. Michael was concerned with what are you thinking when you pull up to the score, what are you thinking inside, and what would each character be thinking at different points in time. And he says, well, the first thing is, before I go to the score, the money's already my money. The attitude is, I'm going in there to get my money. It's already mine. Inside, you got control there. Come on, hands up. I said up. Coming out the door, anything could happen. Coming out is, is nightmarish, because you don't know what you're going to encounter. Even if you have lookouts, if you have a car with a reliable driver and everything, you don't know what's going to happen when you walk out that door. Michael's attention to detail is unparalleled. We took over some banks and had the people who actually worked there, and they knew that we were going to stage a bank robbery. They didn't know what they were going to be told to do. And then everybody came into the bank and had their job about where they were going to stand in their positions. And somebody goes in and gets the manager to open the door and gets the mic. Before we started shooting, Michael was um, adamant that we go to places like that, which was super helpful. It was perfect casting, you know. It was within the first hour that I think we were all kind of felt like we known each other for many, many years. You know. I'd rob a bank with any one of those guys if they wanted to. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>